Looking for a job after school can be crazy. You don't know where to start. Worst case scenario, there is no job anywhere. Things are absolutely going haywire and you don't know what to do. You sit down and you think about your life. You had high hopes in school. The joy that you had when you gained admission, you can still feel it. But now your joy has been cut off. Unfortunately, school doesn't prepare us for life outside of the traditional job sustainers. It doesn't. School doesn't even teach us the things that we are supposed to know, the skill, the, the main things that we are supposed to use and thrive in life. But that's okay because today we are going to unpack a couple of ideas that you can start today without any money, without capital. You will only need your phone, a data, and then network connection. And you can get started on something. And before you know it, you can build something meaningful from there. So let's get it. The first idea on my list is freelancing. Now, freelancing will always be my favorite online business idea because that is what gave me the life that I'm living today. And I will tell you, it is a good life anyways to an extent. Now, I got into freelancing while I was 18. And since then, I have been a freelancer working from the comfort of my home with just my phone. I started with my phone and then I graduated into using a laptop. And since then, life has just been really, really good, I'll be honest with you. And freelancing is what I have introduced my friends to and they are doing great. So what is freelance? Now, freelancing is a form of self-employment where you work with your clients on project by project basis. You are not a full employee you're not a full staff of the client rather you come in and you you offer your expertise or skills to the person based on your work rate which you set yourself or as you negotiated with your client you have control over your work schedule and time the thing about freelancing is that you have control over your work schedule you can work from the comfort of your home you can be in your home you can be anywhere you are you can just step into a coffee shop you have control over your prices, your work rate, and you have a lot of any potential when it comes to freelancing. However, the thing about freelancing, the negative part of freelancing is you are in control. Therefore, you are the one that gets your clients. And sometimes you are not, clients might not always be available for you. And you require a lot of discipline to manage your workload because honestly, Sometimes you rather not do anything and because there is no one checking on you, there is no supervisor and all that, it is easy to get into the whole laziness trap and all that. And lastly, there is also the factor of managing clients. Some clients can be headaches and you have to know how to manage them. Now, when it comes to freelancing, you are wondering what skill can I offer to a client? I don't have a skill or I don't know the skills to offer. What are people looking for? The way to survive in the freelancing world is to have a skill, to have an expertise that you can offer your client. There are lists of skills that you can provide. You have writing, editing, proofreading, digital marketing, content marketing, content writing, copywriting, graphic designing, programming and web development, web designing, virtual assistant and consulting, whether as a medical doctor, whether as a lawyer, you know, whatever it is, photography, video production, there are so many skills to offer under freelancing. Now, you might be thinking, but I don't have a skill yet. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. All of these things that you mentioned, I don't know how to do them. It is okay. The best thing to do is to check out your strength. Get a pen, get a paper and start writing. What are my strengths? What can I do? List out some of these skills, each one. Check if, you, if, if there is any of them that you can do. Now, check your interests, check your hobbies and you will eventually find something that is relating to any of the skills that I mentioned. The next thing to do is either take a course or read a book. You can take a course on YouTube. You, there are free courses also on Coursera and um, EDX. So the best thing to do is to go to any of those platforms and get as much knowledge as you can. There is also Class Central. In, I'm going to link it in the description now. ClassCentral.com is a place where you can see as many courses that exist on the internet based on the skill that you're looking for. All you need to do is to get there, enter search, and then 
you will see both the free courses and the paid courses and then you can go for the free courses for a start then when you build up the skill the next thing you need is your phone your laptop or whatever device it is that you have then you, you set up an account on any freelancing platform of choice there is fiverr and there is upward now this I am not going to go in because of the other things that I'm going to discuss in this video. I'm not going to go deep into each of the platforms, but they are both of the platforms are beginner friendly. Now for this freelancing, after you are done building your skill, you should come up with a small portfolio. Make build a portfolio for yourself. You know, whatever it is that you're going into. If you are into writing, into graphic designing, write something, design something, produce a video, whatever it is that you are doing. Let there be a proof that you can do that thing because it is very, very important. Clients would always want to know that you can help them, that you, they are not wasting their money on you. So you need to build your skill. That skill set is very, 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 very important. Then you need to learn how to convince people that you are the, good, the best person for the job. In summary, check out the skills that you have. Pick a platform, go on the platform, learn what works on the platform. I'd always advise people to check out the top performing people on any of those platforms that you are picking. See what they are doing and then do something a little different. Don't go and copy them word for word. Do something a little bit different from what they are doing. But use the same structure as them as you get started. The next idea on the list is Amazon Kindle Publishing. Now, Amazon Kindle Publishing is great if you are a writer and you know you can write some, you can come up with something. Or maybe you are not a writer, but you know a writer friend. You can, you know, collaborate with the person and you guys can share the process from it. Now, Amazon Kindle Publishing is a platform for authors where you can self-publish. In the past, when you write a book, you have you take your manuscript to a publisher and then is either they approve of your book or not and it is until they approve and they market it themselves that you can have your book published but with amazon kindle publishing there is no need for that all you need to do is to write your manuscript and then upload it on the amazon kindle platform and from there you start marketing the book to get started with amazon kindle publishing first start by writing your manuscript your format is based on Amazon guidelines. You upload it to the Amazon platform and then you publish and market. It is, it is not this simple, but yes, that is the idea. The website that I, I normally recommend to any starter for that is going on Amazon Kindle Publishing and that is kindlepreneur.com. It is linked in the description. So from there, you can visit the platform so much that you can learn from that particular website. It is everything you need on Amazon Kindle Publishing. And Amazon Kindle Publishing is great. The book I published in 2020, the first book I published, is still earning me money to today. So I'm not diving deep into this particular because it is a whole field on its own. Remember, this video is about giving you ideas that you can that you can explore. Then it is left for you to go and research more on them and come up with something. The next idea on the list is to embrace the creator economy now there are a lot of creators springing up there are creators that need help with writing their content creators that need help in editing their videos the videos that they make creators that need help in managing their schedule in managing their businesses in managing their emails in managing their there is video editing there is podcast editing there is seo optimization these are things that creators need these are things that creators are looking for before I learned how to edit my videos myself, I looked for video editors. I looked for help with videos. So I would advise you to get yourself involved in the creator economy. You don't necessarily need to be a creator from you to get something from that economy. So check out what creators are looking for. And believe me, you there is something there for you too. There is something that you can do and you get into it. The only thing is, how do you get clients? How do you make money from you? embracing the creator economy. The first thing is building your social presence because these days we really need social presence to survive. If you are working with a creator, the creator will sort of expect that you have some online presence because that is how you can help them. So learn the skill and build a little portfolio on that skill. When you do that, start posting on social media, start marketing yourself one way or the other. In With time, you start reaching out to some creators, you start reaching out to brands to work with them. 
and that is how you get started. The next idea on the list is affiliate marketing. Now, there, is, there are products that you use and you recommend it to your friend, you refer your friends and your friends buy the product because you refer them to the product. But you are not earning anything from the shop. However, in affiliate marketing as a business, you refer a product or you recommend a product to people and whenever someone buys through your link, you get a commission. Now, this is very cool because you don't need any more. There are two different models for affiliate marketing. There is the model of building a personal brand first and then promoting your products through the personal brand. And then there is the model of using paid advertising for your affiliate marketing. The model of building a brand requires you having a platform and choosing a niche, registering on an affiliate platform, affiliate marketing platform, getting your link and then start promoting that link with whatever, what, with whatever video that you have, whether it is a blog that you have or an Instagram account or YouTube account or wherever it is that you are. So it requires you building a personal brand and then promoting the links on your content, whatever content that you put out. So the step for this one is to pick a niche or if you already have a platform, a big platform, then you register for any affiliate program. There is Amazon Associates and there, are, there is so many of them. However, you wouldn't know until you research about them. So whatever niche that you are choosing to go into, whether it is the health niche, whether it is a product, whatever, pro whatever it is that you are interested in, just research that niche. For, for instance, if you are going into the health niche, research health, health plus affiliate marketing. This way, you will get affiliate marketing programs under that program that you are looking for. And then you start promoting, you register with them and you start promoting the links to your audience. The other type of affiliate marketing is the paid advertising. This one is a little bit bigger. The steps for the paid advertising method of affiliate marketing. You pick a niche, you pick a product, then you register for the product to get your affiliate link. Remember, your link matters because it is only when you they buy through your link that you can make money. You get your opt-in page, your landing page for that product. You set up your website and then you run your ads. You set up your ad campaign manager and you run your ads. You generate the leads and you nurture the leads by sending them messages and no, it's a little bit tricky, so I would advise that you research more on it and get started. Finally, if you already are an expert on something and you don't want to offer that as a service, you are too tired to offer it as a service, then you can become a course creator. You can, you can create a course, sit down, record videos or write books based on your expertise or your knowledge and then promote it, market it, and you get people that would love to learn from you. If you promote it effectively and you know you have a very good product and the course that you've created is very cool, then people would also want to learn from you. And with that, we have come to the end of our video today. Because the best thing I love about most of what I mentioned here is that None of them requires a big capital to start. In fact, most of them do not even require anything to start except your phone, a data, a reliable internet connection, and then data because you you use a lot of data. The only place that you would have to spend money if you go into it is the paid advertising form of affiliate marketing. If you are going into that, then you will require some funds to run your paid ads. But aside from that, you can start any of these today without anything. Like I said, this video doesn't do justice to any of these skills. They are more like giving you the ideas. So the best thing now is to go and pick any one of them and research deeply into any one of them and then get started with them. I also have um, a book that I wrote on this. It is totally free. It's a, my gift to you. It is linked in the description. And learn more about these things and they would really really help you remember this is a marathon it is not a sprint and whatever you are doing ask god for grace bring grace into it bring god into it remember to always pray work with god do the right things learn what is working for people whichever field that you are picking and with time things will go well for you see you in the next video